local Girl Scout camp said goodbye today. Thanks to budget cuts, the Scouts are losing the land. News 10's Caitlin Conrad shows us how they said goodbye to Camp Tomlin. For 40 years, Girl Scouts have sung their camp songs, done their arts and crafts, and learned how to survive in the outdoors at Camp Tomlin. But on Friday, they said goodbye. Seems like a funeral. <laughs> Betty Eppinger was the camp's first ever director, and she's a lifelong scout. I started scouting in 1938. She's since raised two generations of Girl Scouts. Ebinger and her family making memories at the camp she got up and running in the 1960s. The ladies came over and said, would you go with us up, uh, for a ride? And I said, sure. The scout leaders took her up to see the land and she says from the first time she drove in, she was hooked. I thought it was beautiful. It was just beautiful, and it still is. Nature's beauty helping to make Girl Scouts into women for decades. It's opportunities it's given me um, to learn more about myself and myself and my potential as a leader. Next year, organizers are still planning to have a camp. They just don't know where yet, but scouts say it won't be the same. You go off the road uh, down in, you know, and you feel like you're the only one in this whole world. The Girl Scouts of America has offered to pay for next year's rental fee for a new camp space. And the organization says there is still a chance they'll be able to use Tomlin even if they don't own it at the end of the month. That I certainly do hope that, that uh, we don't lose it completely. Covering your news in Medford, Caitlin Conrad, News 10. Camp Tomlin is one of many scout camps across the nation closing, and it's not the first in southwest Oregon. Eppinger says Camp Low Echo closed a few years ago.